Check in my balls. Check in my balls. Check your balls, bro. Balls are dangling. Oh, balls yeah, are you, you fucking might checked. Wanna, bro. <laughs> you might want to check those. Balls yeah. are checked. All right, let's do the little clap All right. Three, two, one. No, that was, that was not. Three, two, one. Fuck, we're not in sync today. One more time, one more time. Three, two, one. That was close enough. Good enough. All right. Welcome to the uh, In Noise Podcast. I am your host, Quake Main. You can call me Quake Main. Man, we're on a fucking Android phone right now. I am so sorry. We had so many different difficulties, um, but it's going to be cool. I'm sitting here next to my co-host. I'm BDV today. BDV. Bad decision, Vince, and I do whatever <laughs> the fuck I want. And you know why I'm BDV today? Because I've made the worst decision of my life going into business with our guest today. I fucking hate this dude. Everyone welcome Jacob Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? That was the quickest that was the quickest fucking uh, introduction to a guest yet. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, we got Jacob Dunn here, uh the other half of in game clothing. Howdy howdy. The worst brand in Portland, Oregon. Um, we just had the most crazy technical difficulties. Uh, my brain is fried and I want to explode. We'll explain the whole thing. Um, I'm not going to explain it actually because I don't know what the fuck has. I don't know what's happening. Our microphones aren't working. Cords aren't working. My brain's not working. My liver's working because I'm drinking a twisty tea right now. Um, my, f- I, you know, I'm homeless. I couldn't plug in my goddamn camera in time to charge it. Only got one battery. So now. We're on the Android um, 200, 240p. <laughs> Bro, um, you would have an Android. Uh, um, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I, I do have an Android. <laughs> yeah. Here, you should swing that a little bit. Yeah. What do you have speak against? In, speak into it. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I just sounds like broke across from me. Shut the f- Android. Broke? <laughs> You're fucking. talking about broke, bro? Get your bands up. You've had a car for like four days, dude. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. You're only saying this because it's your birthday and you're just hoping people give you birthday money. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Vince. Vince. Yeah, thank Poo. you. Thank you. Birthday special. Um, yeah, man, this is the in-game special. You can see right here, in-game. Um, if you didn't know, in-game is the other half of in-noise. All-noise, in-game, in-noise. Pretty cool, pretty clever. Oh, I see what you guys did there. That's fine. Did you just not notice that? No. Oh, <laughs> <you're just> like- <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, technical difficulties. We're here now. Um, I got a couple birthday presents for Vincey Poo over here. There's a chance we might record a second episode. I don't know. It's already fucking so late. It's, like, it's not that late. It's 7 o'clock. Um, to give time reference... We're usually wrapping up about now. We're not wrapping up. We're getting pretty damn close to being like, oh, that was cool, but it's okay. That that has to happen from time to time. You have to have some fuck-ups. Um, it seems like each time there's some sort of little fuck-up, but it's okay. What's right. up, boys? What's happening? What up? What up? Actually, I do want to say this is also Jacob's farewell pod. We had to get him on before he goes to Florida. That's true. Flo Rida. Bro, moving, honestly, moving away. You seem like you live in Florida. Well, it's mostly um, the biggest reason for me moving is uh, this cancer I have on my life, and it's uh, it's called Endgame. <laughs> 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 you're running away. <laughs> you're running away from the bad business deals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's still he's still gonna be part of it. Well, I've I've always wanted to get to the spot where I just uh, I do art and I don't have to deal with all the the bullshit that is screen printing. And uh, I finally figured out how to do that. <laughs> just <laughs> move to Florida. move to the other side of the country. Yeah. Dude. What part? Uh, you don't have to say exactly where, but what part of Florida are you thinking of? The going? keys. He has money. Uh, yeah. No, the white trash the part? It's uh, the yeah, yeah, the very trashy part uh, up north. Panhandle or because uh, it kind of goes. Fucking oh yeah, it's it's just like top right. It's it's, it's Jacksonville. For sure. Oh okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jacksonville seems lit. I lived in um. Wait, pa- Jacksonville's in Florida? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. So yeah, <laughs> I lived in Panama City, which is like the white trash part in the Panhandle. It was fucking lit. Oh, okay. It was like right at the beginning. Yeah, um, it's like all the way fucking left. Yeah, by Destin Beach. Uh, it was cool. Yeah, Florida. Florida's an interesting place. I feel like everything there is trying to kill you. That's what I've heard. I feel like it's, I, I always call it like Little Australia. Have you ever been there? No, never, no. Whoa. Mm-hmm. What, what, decide, what, what made you decide Florida? Uh, my current partner 
uh, we are having a baby, and her family is from there. So, see if I had the soundboard. <laughs> or like a crying baby. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking cat. I fucking hate that horn noise, by the way. The <laughs> bam, bam, bam. You hate I the horn? Like why? I do, That's I, the best noise in the world. That's probably why your DJ career is in the fucking toilet. Dude, no you don't actual DJ noise. does it. Every real DJ does that. You're wrong. You don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm DJ Quag, man. <laughs> You're DJ live in my van, man. Live in your van, man. I would live in a van. Live in your van if you gave me a van. Live I, in the end game van. Bro, I used to have a van. I used to have a minivan. I used to. Oh, that's right. <laughs> What'd you do to it? Did you crash it? What happened to that? Oh, it broke down. Oh my god! I so I was with this girl, right? And we showed to this house party. It's like the second time we'd hung out, and I'm like, she's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna stay the night." Blah blah blah. And uh, we're we're leaving, and my car just like won't start. Try jumping it, try a bunch of things, and it was like on its last leg anyway. So I was like, "I'm done with this car." You just left it somewhere. I just left it at my buddy's house for like oh. three months, and, they got and he was like, kept texting me, he's like, "Bro, when are you gonna come get your car?" And I was like, "Ah, I'll figure it out." You're that guy, huh? I am that guy. Honestly, I am that guy. Yeah. You are that guy. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, for sure is that guy. <laughs> Tense is a man monster. <laughs> Tense is a man monster. Check out this man monster. Well, I, I guess it's not a man. Look at this monster. He's pretty cool. I think he needs to stay up there for every pod now. Yeah. Well, this is what, this is this is why I want a podcast studio so we could like put a little trinket. I want to do like a little bookshelf and put a bunch of cool things on it. If uh, guests were cool, they could like bring us like gifts. Bro, they can't even respond to us about <laughs> ideas. Are you asking for gifts now? <laughs> yeah, bring us gifts. Bring us um, alcohol. Actually, I have gifts for you since it's your birthday. You want to? You wanna... Yeah, let's, let's get into it. Hey, you want to pass me that brown paper bag over there? Yeah. Make sure he doesn't see what's in it. Make sure you crunkle the bag and the ASMR. By the way, this is the free version. Um, there's only one exclusive on the gum wall already. Before we get into this, some house cleaning, I guess. Check out the gum wall. Subscribe. $3 a month. There's also a $5 a month option if you feel like giving us more money. You don't have to. Don't feel obligated. Bunch of exclusive content on there that's soon to be. I am so excited about the stuff that we're going to do. It's going to be fucking awesome. Like I said, there's one exclusive right now at 25 minutes. Go peep that. Uh, we're going to try to update it. As much as possible, and once we get into more of a rhythm without technical difficulties, we're, we have more time. We will record a paid version after the not paid version. Just, you know, difficulties of stopping us to do that, but make sure you check out the gum wall. And then also, make sure you subscribe to the Clips channel, End All no or uh, End Noise Clips on YouTube. The link will be in the description. It's also in the Feature tab. On the channel, we need a thousand subscribers. I know that's a big task, but that's our first uh, milestone. A thousand subscribers, and we can start doing live streams. I already said I'd do this when I hit a thousand followers on Endgame. I will get an end all noise tramp stamp under my Endgame oh, tramp no stamp. No, you wouldn't. If we hit a thousand subscribers on no, it, no, you wouldn't. Swear to God. You I'll, think he's bluffing? Oh, no, I'll make sure he's not fucking bluffing. <laughs> If it, if you guys get there, I'll I'll fucking I'll fly up and and Dude, you do it. Done deal. That would be hard. So we, oh yeah. We had a thousand would, subscribers. Yo, a thousand subscribers on the motherfucking clips channel. Like I said, link in description. We'll fly Jacob out and we'll film an exclusive podcast of him doing the tramp stamp and put it on the Gum Road. So you get free content. Well, not free. You get awesome dope content and you get to see physical pain that will last forever. Um, I mean, I'll probably die pretty soon. I don't think it's going to last forever. <laughs> don't say that. Um, last thing I'll say before I give them these gifts is we are looking for a talented video editor to do highlights and clips for that Clips channel. Uh, very small fee, but if we like what you got going on and if you are vibing with us, um, we can work on some sort of better conversation. And yeah, we just need a clip a week so we're not irrelevant. Yeah, DM us. Um, we also have a Discord. Oh yeah, that's new. I that's a good that. one. I keep I keep thinking of more things. Discord. Also, I made a Reddit for the all noise one, so I can also since my account's like a couple years old, I can also make a in noise Reddit. So there's two ways you can send us questions and concerns. 
one would be on the Discord. There's a there's a channel of questions and concerns and feedback. You can list all your questions, you, you know, concerns, problems with the show, quarrels. You can talk shit. Put that in Discord. Or I'm gonna make a poll on the Reddit. I'm gonna make a Reddit. Put the poll on the Reddit, and you can leave questions there. Q and A. We could do like a ask me anything. Oh yeah. If people are into it. Um, one thing I uh, I will say is. Quake didn't even let me know we had a Discord. I had to look on his Instagram and see, like, end all noise Discord, join the server. And then I joined it, and he didn't even realize it was me. He texted me, he's like, bro, are you in the server? Like, I, I knew it was you because it was the fucking, it looks like the Teletubby son. Oh, I'm Sun Vince. <laughs> That's one of my personas. You'll see Dude, that one. Sun Vince? You're one to fucking talk. Do you know how many times we have, like, a pop-up, and I see the, like, flyer for the pop-up, and I see our name, and I'm like... Wait, are we fucking working this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> like, did he did he let me know? Dude, uh, do I know about this? I've booked so many pop ups. <laughs> Didn't forget to tell Jacob, and then I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm in insert city now. <laughs> I'm in Corvallis right now. Where are you at? That's so funny. Um, yeah, Discord, Reddit, we're Reddit gang, beard beard neck gang, fedora gang. Um, I guess if you want to be moderators or something, you could fucking hit me up and we could do that too. But uh, hit us up on the internet, interwebs. Uh, We're learning as we go. And yeah, so we got some birthday gifts. Um, That's hurting my ears without the headphones. All right, so, so just grab them out one at a time. Yeah, just put put your hand in there. You fucking. Oh, they're so cold. Hey, okay. Let's get twisted. Okay, that's the good one. That's a you know. I'm Is not there a four loco in here? I wish. I almost. I almost. I almost got one. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> there you go. Bro, when was the last time you had a fucking oldie in a can? Yeah, last week. Specifically. <laughs> in a can? It's been a while. I used to get them in the bottles and I'd do brass monkeys. Oh, of course. Damn. Yeah. Dude, that's what I drink oh, exclusively whenever fuck. we do Chinatown pop ups. I just go sit in the alley and drink those with the boys. Natty Ice? That's you, Natty Ice. ice. <laughs> Damn, I should have got orange juice to do a fucking brass monkey. I fucked up. <laughs> and a meet the Bud Light Michelada. Do you fuck with those? Um, I have to take a couple of tums, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find the fourth one. I was like, ah, what? So I got one that you might actually enjoy. I got one that um, you might not enjoy and one that you might not also enjoy. And then the fourth one, I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm getting. You, you got them the four horsemen's. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that, is the, <laughs> that is the side of the apocalypse right there. Um, I want to try the fucking old E. You've never had old E in a can? It's been, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's been since fucking high school. I'm almost done with my twisty anyway. Live review. Dude, you want to hear something Damn. sad? I, I almost, instead of that fucking Bud Light, I almost got you a hurricane. Oh. Dude, the fuck, Jesus Christ. Dude, I, the hurricanes. Right? Are, they have like. I this, toned it back a little bit. That fucking taste is like. Burnt Bro, into my the hurricane mind. steel reserve combo. I used to live with a Bro, fucking homie, and I'm it's like you. he was an alcoholic and couldn't drive, and he would pay me to like drive to the store. And he's like, "You go, you go down to the store. I'll give you fucking ten bucks. You get us a couple hurricanes. You come back here." And I just go do that all the fucking time. And oh, it's all like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. Well, he, oh, he ain't bad. People are just dramatic. No, no. Well, um, Malt liquors. Oh, wh um, what I was gonna say is we had me and my um, try that. Me and my one roommate uh, in high school had one of our homies from the East Coast stay over. It was a fucking full thing for like a month. It's not bad, especially when it's cold. One day I walked in after work, and this motherfucker had four hurricane or uh, four. It was either hurricane or steel reserve. It's pretty much the same shit. High gravity, four forties, and like. Three of them were already drank, and it was like four o'clock. <laughs> I walked in, and he was like, "Ah, you want to go skate?" Like, ah. I was like, "Fam, you're three hurricanes deep. It's like three thirty, and, he, and he's like cracking a fourth one." I'm like, "Don't look at me, by the way, doggy." Like, <laughs> yeah, what's that fucking death glare? You keep looking, looking over there. <laughs> If the shoe fits, huh? Dude. Yeah, no. And I mean, like, fuck those hurricanes, like they're fucking gnarly. For, for and for like for the buck, dude. Dude, that's why you, you fuck it. It's no. I think they're like two bucks. 
And they're like, what, yeah. like 12% or yeah, something? Yeah, because they're double fucking malted or whatever. Dude. The fucking, there's this graffiti piece over by my storage unit that says uh, ketamine and steel reserve. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> All I bleed is ketamine and steel reserve. You fuck with ketamine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jacob Steel K special reserve. Steel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I went through a while where I couldn't do ketamine anymore. I like Is it a tolerance or? Well, there's a tolerance, but also every time I do it, I'd have like some weird existential crisis, and then I was like, all right, I can't do this. Well, because it's it's a dissociative, so you're kind of like. Yeah, but I mean, like the first a hundred times were cool. Sure. And then you know, I took a. You could say that with most things. <laughs> I took like a nine month break, and I just started doing it in, like a couple of times. The first a hundred times you have sex is cool, and yeah. after a while, you're like. Oh, You've had know. sex a hundred times. Yes, probably. <sighs> Damn it. How many times have you had sex? Uh, a ton, dude. Like a fuck. Like oh, the a act, lot. Like, like the like active. A lot. I have <laughs> so a lot, much. I have I a lot. Can, of, uh, I have a lot of straight sex. Yeah. I hey. love. I love. Women. My favorite part hey, is the. Have, Seth's not so, here. Sorry, all right? guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love the the boobs, and they feel like, uh, you know, like just that, like like, like a, a bag of sand. Just like <laughs> <laughs> them sandbags. I love a good sandbag. I'll tell you what. Hey, we got, we're talking about boobs already. Hey, there we go. You know what we haven't mentioned either? The other topics we always talk about. Shit. Yeah. Are we being attacked? <laughs> is, this, is this Pearl Harbor? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is this Hiroshima? <laughs> um, yeah, how do you feel about these fucking booze? Are you you like it? Dude, I'm Are you going to drink them all? I, I know. I was like, parching. I was like, this is funny. This is fun. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. in my head. I'm like, to justify, it's like, yes, I'm buying my alcoholic friend booze. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and fun. it's good because like that's the best kind of gift where you buy it for him. You're like, okay, let's crack this open. Let's <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm kind of like, I want to try that old English. Um, do you like twisties? I like Are you twisties. twisted? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I got real addict. I got real twisted. So did half of Portland for like nine months. Yeah. I I was fucking addicted to Twisted Teas way before everybody else was addicted to Twisted Teas. I also drank fucking White Claws before White Claws. I did too. I, I I'm not them. not to be that fuck. Okay, it went from Twisties to White Claws. That's how that's the progression. Before it was like Four Locos, maybe. There's you know, but what I remember is Twisties got they weren't popular, but I got real obsessive. Me and my homies drank them like crazy, and then they blew up on the fucking internet. I was like, okay, well, that just that's life. That happens. And then fucking, oh, we drink these things called White Claws. Okay. Wait, do you think, wait. And then they fucking I, blew up. I feel like White Claws like kind of started out a little bit. Like they were kind of like simmering for a little bit. And then Twisted Teas really. Were, I think Twisties were too. This is maybe, I'm just oblivious. I'm just going to say this right now before I forget. You are my witness. I was drinking White Claws as soon as they came out. Because remember, I was on no carbs. I've never seen you drink a White Claw in my life. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I almost bought you a White Claw. No, I, I, just I hate White Claws now. But They're disgusting. No, that, They're it horrible. was like, okay, because you had your fucking your vodka phase. You had your, like, what was it, like two bridges or fucking Bridgetown or some shit like that. Bridge City, baby. Yeah, Bridge City. You had that, and then I think you kind of transitioned from that to White Claws. And I it was just White fucking Claw before white that, and then went vodka, and then went back to White Claws. Okay, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I've seen you. That was what you're drinking. White claws are fucking disgusting. Terrible. Yeah. You were like, I was like, God damn it. I got to go hang out with Vince because that's the only way I can fucking drink. But I'm going to have to drink fucking white claws. Dude, they, they, like, when you (laughs) throw them up, (laughs) when you do them all night, when you drink them all night and do drugs all night and you, like, throw up the white claw, it is like. It's just like so much fucking liquid because you have to drink six fucking thousand of them. And, like, bro, there's like 5%. The mango one reminds me of like the mango jewel pods. I, I don't want to fucking mango throw jewel pods. Fuck, fuck mango disgusting. Pods. You don't like the mango one, dude? I I did until I fucking threw them up. Yeah, I'm gonna say something right now. That's this fair. is the most high school podcast so far. We have <laughs> about white claws and mango jewel pods <laughs> <Fuck yeah. laughs> and drinking twisted tea. <laughs> hey man, we're all white here, I guess. Actually, it was just let's. You want to share? You want to share this? Keep going back and forth on it. Um, What was I gonna? Oh, Jacob and White Claws. I'm gonna check the Discord. (laughs) Oh, I can't check the Discord. Jacob's uh, here. You can check it on my phone. Um, Check it right here. Remember that time we got White Claw drunk 
and I walked in, you peeing all over my stuff in my room. I I, I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, I don't recall that. <laughs> but uh, I do I do recall the next morning. Yes, dude. You plugged that into the extension cord, my friend. Yeah, I got. You. Um. So, we were, this was like a couple years ago, right, Quest? And um, I had this girl over, and her and I had always had this on and off thing when we would both like be in relationships at the same time, break up at the same time, you know, like whatever, talk for a little bit. And we, I had her over after like I had a breakup or whatever. And Jacob's there. We had an end game stuff we're working on. She came over, and like Jake and I were fucked off. Like we were both hammered when she showed up. So that was the one thing where she like shows up and we're just two drunk idiots. And then um, I I, like her and I hang out in my room and Jacob's like, "I'm gonna go sit in the garage," or no, he's like, "I'm gonna go to bed." So I put him in. I have two rooms at the time. Um, So I put him in one room, and then he, I hear him leave our house, like leave my house, and then I find him sprawled out in my driveway. And I'm with this girl, like, (laughs) I'm with this girl, like, trying to get him up and into the spare room. Finally, get him in there. Fuck. And then, like, we're her and I are like hanging out, whatever, like fucking around a little bit. And we could hear Jacob just like falling over in the other room. And then finally, she's like, you know, I think I'm gonna go. Let's hang out soon. (laughs) And leave. (laughs) And I was like, no. <laughs> and then your um, business partner cock blocked you, <laughs> dude. I, I, Jacob's cock blocked me so many times. Um, <laughs> I I walk into the spare room and I hit this bag of clothes, and he's full on just pissing in it. He doesn't even realize I walk in, just fucking dick out. And I'm like, hey, dude, no response. And then just, hey, that's not the toilet. And he just goes, ah, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. Yeah, you should you should go to bed. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. In my defense, if I didn't drink, didn't have to drink so many fucking white claws because you drink white claws, no. time, I wouldn't be pissing all over the place, <laughs> dude. I had had enough, okay, of drinking fucking white. <laughs> I've claws, had enough. And I was <laughs> standing up for myself. That's what happened. Finally, That's what I happens. couldn't. I couldn't take anymore. All right. There's been other pee stories that I'm gonna wait. Yo, to. I have a pee story. What's today? Monday? Yesterday. (laughs) 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 I'm uh, fucking at the Plaid Pantry on fucking 82nd. About to go just chill out. Fucking edit. I actually was just uploading the pod uh, episode three or episode four. This is episode five, right? This is episode five, bro. Crazy. Episode four. Probably around 15. (laughs) Um. So motherfucking, I'm at Plaid Pantry. I'm getting some water, and I, as I come out of the Plaid Pantry, the car that's next to me, I see this motherfucker in there. And he's just like in the shotgun, just like I'm like, oh, dude, it's faded, dude, it's fucked up. I sit in my car. I'm like cracking my water. I go to the side. He gets out of the car and he just stands there. He like pulls his pants down. <laughs> he just starts pissing in the parking lot at Plaid Pantry, and his girlfriend's just standing there like, <laughs> and he's just like. And he's just like sta- just like standing there, and his like fucking mom or something is like in there. And I'm just like driving, like yeah, this is eighty second, dude. When you gotta go, you gotta go, dude. I was like, damn, dog, you can't like go around the corner. I know plaz don't got bathrooms and shit because of all the homeless people, but fuck. When I was like a kid, not a kid, when I was in like late high school. I used to think it was so funny to just get naked in public. Just oh, that's really every with me. that's every fucking oh, dude, yeah, dude. I feel he like used to get naked all the fucking time. <laughs> Lord Tiger Lord. Dick. Lord Tiger Dick. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was. That what was, what about your Vince's dick makes it a tiger? Identity for a little bit. So there's there's this uh, at a, at his old house actually. It was kind of like a you know just like a party house. But see the thing is they were all older. I was in high school and I was kicking it with them, so I was getting fucked up. And um. They had these tiger, this tiger like curtain, and I took it off and I got naked and I made it into a like a, an adult diaper. And it's I like, a, myself, like a loin Oh my god! And I just called myself Lord Tiger Dick. And I was fucking around with, I was cock blocking one of our friends. We was trying to get this girl. I kept like walking in the room there and I'm just like bending over and picking stuff up. I'm like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. horrible. I I've seen him like not 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 just like he was fucked up or something. Just like we're all kind of sitting there hanging out and there's like not a whole lot going on. And I've seen people leave because he's just like 
It's time. It just starts fucking getting <laughs> naked. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they're like, how drunk is he? And we're like, he hasn't been drinking. And they're like, we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... Yeah, we haven't been to... Me and you have never been to a lot of parties, but I feel like we go fuck a party up. <laughs> Dude, I'm old now. I'm chill. That's I what mean, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not like... The only... Realistically, um, the only parties I'm really like fucking with are like the homies parties or whatever. How's that... Um, How's that shit, by the way? Your sandwich is delicious. Super fire. Where's um, that from? I don't even know. My coworker gave it to me. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the only parties I'm going to are like after show parties or whatever, which is just like kind of like a... But like going to a party, who does who does that? It's different if it's like going to a birthday party yeah. or like going yeah. to... But just like some random shit. Just like you go in like a house. Like a house show could be a house party too like it's you know yeah but i mean like yeah there's not a whole lot that i've gone to there's been there's been a few times in the past like fuck maybe it's been a while but like last year or something where like we go to the bar and very rarely it's like we oh, meet come some to the fucking party or like yeah, yeah something like that where they're like we're having a fucking party and we're I don't just like, like people super drunk. i don't like people enough to fucking usually i'm the same way like and especially the bars that i had been going to because i live in vancouver there's not right. a lot of like the couve yeah Cube. but there was Man, like, what an upgrade the couve to fucking Jacksonville. <laughs> right very lit I'd rather live in Florida than Vancouver. <laughs> not gonna lie. I know. She's um, like, let's go to uh, Jacksonville. And I was like, yeah, just give me the fuck out of here. Bro, low key, low key. Bro, I love the South. Low key, Florida's lit. I'm pretty excited. It seems pretty dope. They have Stand Your Ground. Hella lizards. So excited about the lizards. Lizzies, bro. Mm-hmm. The Lizzies. Watch for their tails, bro. The, yeah, the whip. The, well, mm-hmm. well, they fucking their um, one of their defense mechanism is just to break their tail off. Oh yeah, they pop off. Yeah, yeah. bro, there's so many fucking lizzies you there. You get a couple of those, dude, and you get your <laughs> big old danglies. <laughs> 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 dude, that's just sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll fucking clamp onto you. This motherfucker brought live rattlesnakes to my house once. It was like a surprise. You are a motherfucker <laughs> that be <laughs> you be collecting bones and shit, right? You'd be like yeah. finding bones and cleaning. Yeah, that's definitely a Sometimes, rattlescape yeah. maneuver. I'm I'm like just chilling. I'm like, I think I was just like in my room, like in my own room playing video games or something. And he, uh, he calls me. He's like, hey, I'm at your house. Like, come outside. I was like, this is weird. So I'm like, all right, I come out there. And he has this this box. And it's all sealed. You can't see what's in it. Jesus And he's like, Christ. he's like, hey, hey, listen to this. Put your finger in there. Shakes the box. You just hear the... What the fuck? <laughs> He's like rattlesnakes. Damn, bro. I'll tell you a fucking Lizzie snake story. My boy, shout out Riley. He's he's the dog. This motherfucker be collecting like hella venomous snakes and shit. Mm-hmm. He's a snake boy. So like back in high school, he had this like trailer. He like uh, rented out with his homeboy. You walk in that bitch. It's nothing but cages everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what the fuck? Is this a Petco? (laughs) Walk in that bitch. So one night, him and my other boy um, were fucking with it. And for some reason, they were feeding it without the like thing. Oh, they're like feeding a really, really, really venomous snake. And it fucking just snags them. Oh shit. And he's like, they look at you three in the morning. They're, they're just like, it's that look where it's like, <laughs> he's like, we fucked up. He's like, you're driving. And yeah, so they fucking crush to the hospital. His hands like turning blue, like quick, like, bah, 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 like big as fuck. Get to the hospital, and the hospital's like, them all fucking anti venoms in Denver, Colorado. So they had to wait six hours or so. Yeah, because they don't just have that. They don't shit just like have anti venom. It's like very specific. So they flew the shit from Denver, and he's like, I just have to wait. So he sat there, and his arm just kept, like, the venom was just, like, racing down his arm, and they're almost having to amputate him. Mm-hmm. The shit shows up. They stab him up. He has his arm still. Fuck. Pretty sure he still owns a bunch of fucking snakes. That's, so I'm that's like, you're why, like, fucking crazy, bro. Shout why, out Riley, my boy. He could have died that night. That's why I kept. So we were, like, we we're, it was when I was doing tower work, and we are out in, like, a uh, high desert in up in Washington. Right. And we show up on site one day and we're getting our gear out of our bags and there's like a fucking little rattlesnake in there. We're like, oh shit. And so I like catch that one. And I stick you it found a rattlesnake in central Washington? Yeah. Or like northern Washington. Somewhere, oh, nice. somewhere up in Wa- For Washington. Sure. And, the uh, drier areas. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 
catch that one, and then like a second one showed up at some point, and I was up on the tower, and they're like, "Hey, we got fucking another one." So I come down and I catch that one. Damn, and you, I'm just you like, snagging him? You're like, <laughs> well, I had like, <laughs> no, what? The? I had like a, I just Steve grabbed the rake because like you see like the snake sticks on the videos and yeah. shit. So I was like, we had a rake, so I was like, that's like that, and so like, yeah, yeah. you just <laughs> scoop them up, and you got enough distance, and you just fucking flip them, toss them into the my shits. homie had a cooler, and so I just popped them in the cooler. Mm. And then that was the sketchy part when I had like you go to get a twisty T on break on your lunch break. Yeah, and yeah, like, no, I wrote like in big fucking letters like snake inside or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but then like I caught the two of them and just had them chilling in the box to like give them water and shit in the morning. Damn, when we'd show up on site, and then we were looking it up and we saw how much like people like milk the snakes. They have like all the venomous snakes. They milk them and then they sell that shit for making the hell yeah. Venom. And it's a fucking hustle, dude. Like oh, they pay a shit ton of money for just it. Just like regular ass rattlesnakes. Yeah, mm -hmm. different. You, like, like you can go, you can go in California, just go catch a snake and go milk them. I mean, you, I guess you gotta know how to. <laughs> Should do we be it. snake milkers? <laughs> yeah. Like that's the thing is like I was like, well, I obviously I got. How do you apply to, to be a snake milker? You just you go dude, to school. You feel like an entrepreneur, dude. Just go do it, bro. That's crazy. I'm a businessman. I don't know, you, <laughs> like. I got skills. I got trades. Man, wasn't... foot clothing. Let's just milk some snakes. Milk I saw the snakes, videos. Bro. I was like, this is a little sketchy, but I'll fucking I'll figure it out. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I see in the sketchy. videos, I'm know. like, what do you have to have to, to milk a snake? You got to have the rattlesnake, and then you got to have to have, like, a jar and, like, a rubber glove over the top, so they bite it, and then the venom goes in the jar. Right. I was like, I got the hard fucking half I've of it already. I can get jars right. and a rubber glove fucking no problem. I've seen that shit on Discovery Channel. I see mm -hmm. it. Exactly. And so I was like, I'm going to take these home. Fuck, I took them home, so I have them in this tub, and my foreman's like, you ain't bringing those fucking snakes in this truck, dude. Jesus so Christ. So they put them in the back. Like a... Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, it's fine. Like they're they're gonna get cold back there. That's fucked up, dude. And he's like, you're not bringing those fucking snakes in. Oh my god! And then I put him in the back, and we're driving down the highway. And I'm like half asleep. And it's I like hear sliding him. around. No, I hear him. Box. I hear him yelling at me, and he's like, we're pulling the fuck over because the snake tub was like fucking in the wind, like fucking wobbling and about to pop the fuck off the back. <laughs> Just launch some rattlesnakes into somebody's fucking car, and then we like, oh, the that's there. wicked, okay. bro. That's pretty badass. It was like as, as long as you got like a stick or something, man, like man. big old. I ain't trying to fuck with nature like that. I'm too dumb. <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> I would. I would be that idiot that like tries it one time and ends up in. Oh, <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it, getting fucking anti venom sent from Denver, Colorado for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um. Shout out Riley. Shout out Riley. Shout Are you cool Riley. if I run to my car real quick? Why? <laughs> I want to get my dabs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, right. yeah, well, go, do go. do your uh, little. I don't. I don't need to pee really. So do your little um. We can go fucking two hours if you want to, like... Let's just keep, keep going. We'll just keep going. Out. We'll right, I'll be right back. All right. Do you, a little, like, question and answer shit. Okay, while you do that, I'm also going to pee, and so just answer your questions on your own, right? Are you serious? Okay, if you're going to go pee, go pee first. I just don't want this to turn into no, another pee. No, nah, it's okay. Oh, my gosh. Hey, man. We already had so many difficulties. It's this okay. shit is unhinged. Dude. Honestly... Oh, fucking! I think this episode would have been better if we we came in. We, we came did in it if we didn't have Jacob on. <laughs> if we just busted it out right away, I feel like we like spent so long like trying not to get into juicy content, but then just talking the whole time. About what? I don't know. What do you mean? I, don't I think know, we're man. I think we're doing great. We're only thirty minutes in. Two two bathroom breaks. I'm gonna go get a dab. I'm gonna get real high and then get. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a dab. I'm gonna go. <laughs> and then it's. Do <laughs> 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 you think that's what's going to happen? You're getting a whole rig or you're just getting your pen? No, I got a little nectar collector. I got this really. This nectar collector looks like a fucking fear and loathing in Las Vegas. It looks. It's just like. It's an elegant crack pipe. <laughs> Dude. Do you remember smoking dabs in like high school? Yeah. Everyone thought weird. you were a crackhead. Yeah. Well, I remember it. I literally remember giving my dad his first dab out of a rig and he. When he. That's a whole different story. When he found my dab rig or whatever, he found out I was doing dabs. He was like, are you doing hard drugs? Like, what? He was like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, you're so late. Like, I have to explain this to you. And he found my torch. He was like, Dude, are you that's... He's like, are you cr smoking crack? Or, like, and I had to be like, it's dabs. Like, I will give you a dab if you want a dab. He was like, what the fuck? And my cousin... Me and my cousin were already fucking uh, doing dabs like years before that. So it was just like very strange. Now my dad knows like the whole shit, but it was like weird explaining it. Because it was like a big thing. No, I. And all the dabs were shitty BHO like. 
black tar. I remember, like, out of, like, I was one of the first to start doing dabs back in the day, and I'd bring, as soon as I pulled out the torch, everyone was like, whoa, 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 whoa bro. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I used like, to be doing them shits in my car. I had, like, a little nectar collector, yeah, and people was, were like, everybody was smoking crack like, in your what car. What the fuck is that? I'm, like, dude, on dude. my lunch break, and I'm like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> do you remember when I gave Nighthawk that dab? His first dab at your at the house of slime. Is that when he was like locked in the chair? Yeah, and it, the funniest part about that was, he um, he told me like the whole time he's like, I was just sitting there thinking I'm gonna kill Vince when I get out of this. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like there's so many times that happened. Either like you or fucking Dane would do that shit all the fucking time. Dude, I like, think Dane and I were both encouraging. <laughs> just like, yeah, just uh, fucking, I'm like doing some shit in my room and just. Cleaning up, and then Dan's like, "Hey, you want something?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I'll try." It. And then it's just like the rest of my day's fucked. <laughs> I'm trying to put shit in a box and like just pick up my Legos or whatever the fuck, and it's like there goes six hours of my life. That's what you get for playing with Legos at thirty. Legos are the shit. I didn't realize how expensive Legos were. By the way, it's hella expensive. When I went to uh. When we went for our last fight in fucking South Carolina or whatever, we were coming back. I think we were in the fuck were we? I think we were in Atlanta or something. We went to the mall because they were supposed to have like huge ass malls there. Mm-hmm. And we were walking around, and then uh, we get to the mall, and one of the dudes I'm with, uh, he's like fucking jacked about the the Lego store. He's like, "No, we got to go to the fucking Lego store." <laughs> And they didn't end up fucking having it, but we found another one, and it was like, yeah, Legos are fucking expensive, dude. Yeah. All right, so this is um, this is a segment I like to do whenever Quig ends up ditching me with the guest. It's just true or false. I ask you a couple true or false questions. Give me a, give me that. No backstory. Um, make the guest wonder. Okay. True or false? <laughs> <laughs> You've worn women's clothes on numerous occasions. Oh, fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> true or false? You've used that pocket pussy. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Um, <sighs> Don't go down that road. It's a dangerous road. <laughs> Dude. Um, I know so many people that left with those at, from that party and used them. And <laughs> I think, yeah, most, do. Like, <laughs> it's like... Shout out Uncle Jesse. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Jesse. <laughs> true. All right. Hold up. True or false? You've had sex while wearing clown makeup. By the way, just stop recording. <laughs> I was Bruh. wondering. Yeah, I, I was like, I, I was saw like, it because I saw it. and I didn't know if it just minimized or something. I want to look at it. Whatever this this whole episode is fucking plagued by technical difficulties, but it's okay. Happy this birthday, is Vince. episode five. <sighs> and all in all, this shit's happening. Continue, continue what you're talking right, about. Uh, this oh, clown makeup. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Like, wait, having sex with clown makeup with, with clown that the makeup question? on. I don't know if it would exactly constitute is clown makeup per se, but some sort, yeah. Juggalo. Are you whoop, a whoop, juggalo? Whoop, whoop. No, not yet. But I mean, you know, we're getting not there. yet. Here's for all the juggalos and juggalettes. <laughs> woot 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 woot. Shout out to my juggalos. Root, root. Have you seen that kid that like he fuck j- this <laughs> shit? <laughs> I wish I used to send you. <laughs> Wait, I think I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I know what you're talking about. The, he's, he's like just some dude that like jumps off of stuff like. <laughs> yeah. Onto, yeah. Like, he's got the table. Bro, he's got like Legos that, dude, and some shit. Oh my god, dude! That I love that shit. That's the type of autism I like, dude. I love that shit. He's like fuck this shit. Ooh, woo, woo. And he like does the fucking mm-hmm. He like jumps into like a oh, microwave Oh my fucking bat <laughs> <laughs> It's always the same result He's just like ah. Yo, Is that mother Is he like 40 Or is he like a child I don't know Does he have that like uh, He's know. got the hospital <laughs> Hasbula Hospital Did you know he's Islamic You know he's like really religious I did not He's hella Islamic. Dude, he's bro. a little fuck for being really religious. Weren't, weren't they supposed to have a fight like him and a with that other another person who had I'm like gonna the say same it, midget? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Well, hey, like, we're 40 minutes well, in. I'm allowed to say midget. They have like a whole different, like a whole different thing, right? They, Where, like, yeah, they have like basically. They both have two separate like. Uh, no, they they have the same thing. It's like there's a gland in their like growth whatever thing? bullshit that yeah. makes it so they don't hit puberty, so they just stayed like toddlers. Yeah. 
But yeah, did that fight ever happen? No. Um, that was, I don't think so. That was a whole was fucking, fucking they, hype. No, they yeah, tried to get hype. it, but it, people were so upset that they're having like two technically disabled people <laughs> fight that they like. Dude, <laughs> Instagram. It's like going back to old fucking circus days. Dude, but shit. they wanted Instagram, to. I was down to watch the micro, it. The micro wrestlers. This That's a point. Oh, dude, yeah. I see you know that. what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking. Oh, they're like, what the fuck's their names? Uh, they got fucking missing chromosome and they're like super. It's, it's weird. Instagram and TikTok is literally just making fun of like. Mentally retarded people and like it's kind of pe- fucked and people with disabilities. It's super fucked. Yeah, it's super fucked up. And because like yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny because everybody can, who doesn't have that like we can like joke. I mean, I'm a little autistic for sure, but like we can joke and, and like it's it's fine because we're not like that. But literally, it's just people making fun of people with disabilities. Yeah, and it's like sure. millions of views. And like we're on a podcast right now talking about fucking <laughs> this motherfucker who's slamming into uh, microwaves or like fucking. I love those people. We're giving we're giving them good. Like we're not saying anything. We're, like, right. We're, we're, we're not, not real. There's a difference like, between like appreciating somebody's content right. and like uh, what's the fucking word like. A lot of people just razz for no reason. Well, they're just like using it to make fun of them and right. like laughing at it rather than being like, for sure. I'm glad that dude's doing his shit. Like, <laughs> facts. And those. Into it. There's like a guy who does like, he's hella into Lord of the Rings and he'll like right. dress up in different Lord of the Rings characters. I know, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he'll go do shit and I'm like, fuck yeah. There's that, that motherfucker. Like, I said on the yeah, one. Man, he's fucking loving what On he's the one doing. podcast, there's a dude that just collects the Titanic VHS. Really? And it's a wall of Titanic VHS. <laughs> like, he's like, lit. lit, bro. Like he will own every Titanic VHS. Yeah, that, that shit is mad weird, but like it's fucking cool, and it's just like at least somebody's like into things. Yeah, like yeah. they're like that's like, all that that's fucking like matters. Like, like it's like they're it, dude, yeah. and it's like it gets lost in translation, and people are like, oh, he's making fun. Uh, you know, it's it's a whole it's a weird it's a weird thing, and you have to think that some of these like quote unquote neural divergent. Type motherfuckers like they're kind of, some of them have to be self aware, oh, right? They all are. They all some, are. My brother. Yeah. And then have you ever seen that? Some. Fucking, yeah. I wouldn't say all. Everybody on t- on Instagram reels is not self aware, but oh, like, no. yeah. like there has to be some of the motherfuckers are just like, oh yeah, like maybe it's them being like, oh they're into like it's a it's a feedback response. Like oh, I'm gonna keep doing these videos because people are into it. Mm-hmm. Some of it could just be making, yeah, you know, like, it's, it's a whole mess. But yeah. I don't well, know it gets what my to the point, point is. Where it's like maybe that person just wants to like they enjoy the like attention and like the fame from it. For and sure. They're like I For don't sure. care. I just want that, and then it's fucked because they're stuck in that spot. I'm gonna say one thing. Speaking of this, before we get off topic, Doctor Do. <laughs> Shout out Dr. Dude. <laughs> Quake and I have been sending videos back and forth to this guy. He is he is just a mad lad here. He's he mixes a bunch of different like drinks and just two gulps chugs it like a full like big ass like mug. Is it dude. just random? Dude, I'll, like, if we had the video, if we had our video thing working today, I would see within the next like I think within the next like ten episodes, I wanted to get that working where we can I mean we can't even fucking go an episode. <laughs> we can't even like film normally, but like once oh, I get that, we can pop up like a yeah. We can like um get on my computer and like look up the video we're talking about, and it like screen records and like gotcha, we can yeah. show it and shit. Yeah. We might have Zuko do it. We're thinking to like just have him be like tech guy, so he doesn't have to talk or anything. He can just like when he has something to say, just pop it in there. Be real quick. Man on the chair. Kind yeah, of thing. be like a fucking. Uh, I don't even know. Jamie from J- yeah, so Hey, yeah, Jamie, like, pull that up. Hey, Jamie, fucking, pull that up. I fucking hate Joe. Are Rogan you going to call him fans. Jamie also? <laughs> I think we should just to piss him off. <laughs> um, we definitely should call him Jamie. <laughs> hey, J-Mo. But, okay, Dr. Doom. I'm saying this right now. I wish there was a fucking camera where it's like a talk, talk it. Look at, look at him in his face. Mr. Dr. Do himself. I'm going to challenge you to a do-off. Oh shit! If this gets live on the podcast, anyone that's listening to this, we're gonna clip just the audio of this on Instagram. Everyone tag this dude. I want to get him knowing. I'm challenging him to a do off. Tag Doctor Do in this. Uh, Our boy Vince here wants to do a do off with Doctor Do. His people get in contact with our people. We'll do a little content thing. We'll uh, we'll film it. Put on the podcast. It'll be great. Everybody will be happy, and we'll see who the real. do is <laughs> I'm gonna outdo Mr. Do himself. <laughs> do you know who we're talking about? I have no idea. You don't know Dr. Do? Oh <laughs> god damn it. I'll, 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 yeah, pull it up on your phone. I'll pull it up. Um, you guys keep talking for a second so this is not 
Yeah, Dr. Dude, man. He just, uh, he likes. So, like, does he drink? Is he mixing like alcohol drinks or just like fucking anything? <laughs> I don't think this dude's ever touched a drop of alcohol. I don't think so. He's he like, actually he's just like check he out might, this fucking. He milk. might be a minor. No, he's not. He's twenty four. Oh, he's twenty four. I pieced oh, it together you're in by the... his uh, his year. It's Doctor Dew nineteen ninety eight or nineteen ninety six. Oh, okay, so he's, For sure. he's like he's our age. Hell yeah! But I'm. Um, wait, see, where is this Doctor oh. Dew? He just takes Dew and he mixes a um mixes it with like. <laughs> Oh, so it's always like some dew and something. Is dew and motherfucking dude? He does so many different beverages. It's kind of dew. Why don't we? Hmm. <laughs> Get that might. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what if we? Uh, That's put... like okay. So the best brass monkey. Whenever I make them, is I get like. Mango orange juice or something like that. Mm. That's like that's the shit. So mm. it might not be bad. I got a friend who like he'll mix Gatorade with it, and he says with, that shit's good with malt liquor. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I seen this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he uh, he just showed a video of him drinking a liter of uh, Mountain Dew as quick as he could. It's like mm. ten seconds. I think I could beat him. That's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna outdo Mr. Do. Derek, sorry, he's Doctor Do. I'm Mr. Do. You should you should play one of those in the microphone. Well, I, there's no if there's a video, I would. I mean, there's no point. Free clout. But anyone that wants to know what we're talking about, here I'll pull up his Instagram handle right now. I just see had if it. we had somebody that could like listen to the episode, I would put like timestamps in the fucking. Yeah, I think this week you and I brainstormed some shit to get this like just more like streamlined for like actual production. Um, okay, so his name is Dr. Do underscore 1998, all lowercase. Um, his name is Michael Lockwood, if you want his official name. Um, Shout out Michael Lockwood, man. I, have, I, I follow a lot of people on Instagram. The only one that follows him other than me out of my followers is you. Is me. <laughs> 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 that makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So, man, that is jokes. <laughs> Doctor Do, I'm coming for I'm you. I'm coming for you, Doctor Do. <laughs> Dude, I'm. That is so funny. I'm so excited for that. If, I mean, like, this dude has 24,000 followers. Is sponsored. The chances of us get getting them on, but I want to do it. I want. I want to do challenges against people. Like, like I, I'm really, you know, I'm really wanting to. I used to be terminally online, you know, and then I came back to rela- reality a little bit. Reality kind of sucks. You seem kind of like an iPad kid. No, I was. I was <laughs> sorry, Android. I forgot he doesn't use <laughs> Shut Apple. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I am a Newgrounds kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. new ground. This fucking... This fucking guy. I'm a new grounds kid. I'm an early YouTube guy. Fucking um, mini clip, I guess. Dude, fucking the but new gr- videos and all... Dude, mm. Madness and uh-huh. fucking... Oh, for sure. OG Oni Plays. Do you know Oni Plays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, he did, they did um, Chris O'Neill, another Irishman. Shout, I don't know shout out what the, lads. the fuck. You guys are speaking a different language. For me. Uh, yeah, Chris O'Neill did uh, Leo and Satan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember Leo and Satan? Yeah, that yeah. shit was lit. He also did um something totally different. It's not. It, it is an Oni play. It's a uh, what's that fucking dude? Ed's World. Do you I remember Ed's World? I think Ed's World was on um, Newgrounds. It was that was definitely a YouTube thing. Man, this is OG early internet. Fucking like animations and like flash games, like sticky stick figure games. Did yeah. you ever go to like uh I think it's just like stickfigure.com? It's like stick figure. page. Stick page. Yeah, yeah. Stick Holy page. Holy shit, dude. Shit, bro. I have to Google that right now. Dude, no, okay. So like what I would the fuck? that's all I would watch and play, and then I used to draw like stick figure. Bro, like, me comics, too. I'm literally like, this I'm literally the same dude. Bro, we're literally the same Hell dude. Yeah. My boy back in Oklahoma drew madness comics. That's fucking he was dope. really good at it. So you could tell him, but like, oh, I want this scene. He's like, I want this scene. Yeah. And he's like, draw out like little fucking dude. It was the illest shit, bro. Stick page is still around. No way. It is. What? Bro. Oh, dude, that fucking game stick war. Yes. Holy shit. You guys are unlocking something. I okay, think. wait a minute. Isn't Flash supposed to be down? Aren't these like Flash games? I think so. Like, I remember that was always, you always had 
to have that. Bro, Call of Duty sticks. There was that they sniper got game. New games. Do you remember that sniper game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stick sniper, and you had like the different <laughs> like missions and shit. And there's like this lady's like doing this guy, and you gotta assassinate the guy or whatever. And there's like different. Yeah, you were like a hitman. I yeah. went outside as a kid. I'm just gonna let you guys know fuck that. Fuck you! I went outside. Yo, dude. I went outside as fuck. But guess what? You you. When fucking, I was inside, I was you, on stick. You page, fall down dude. a lot, and then you're like, ah, I'm gonna go back inside. And you go inside. What else are you gonna do? You're gonna play Fallout Three. Or you're gonna play my fucking stick page. Hell yeah. Um fuck, dude. Terminally online. Where was I going with this? Oh, I'm trying to get back terminally online. Cause fuck the real world. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to like dis I'm trying to go into the Discord. I'm back. trying to yeah. fucking yeah. Dude, I'm, there's you know your I mean? window right there. I might dude. have to Crazy get back part into of the Matrix, man. <laughs> bro, do you remember Stick RPG? One, yes. One and two, bro? <laughs> yes. Yo. Okay. This is why you got to subscribe to the Clips channel, because if you subscribe to the Clips channel, you could watch a, f- a full playthrough of me playing Stick RPG. <laughs> we will fucking do drugs and do a full five-hour stream. I will beat that game. That's the type of content. I'm pointing at the camera like there's a fucking camera there. <laughs> it's good practice. It's good practice. Um, uh, follow the Clips channel. Can't get any clips because... Can't get any clips <laughs> because I can't... Ch- I have Quake one an battery Android. and I have an Android phone. You have a phone. Fu- why is your phone not charged? Why didn't we film it on yours? Because my phone's at 10%. I plug my shit in. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Captain iPhone, why isn't your shit going? Okay, because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Yeah, explain it's, to it's me. It's my birthday today. And oh, no, it's your no, birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no, Listen, no, no, I forgot. Yeah, I have totally stuff good. like that I may or may not it's do after lots this of shit that you guys do. are invited to. That's, Either all, way. You can pull up. You, you can got pull shit piled up phone. all over I'm the place. I'm Vinny Plans. I have the plans at all times. Oh, so you're mob boss now. You think you're you think you're the you captain come to of the ship. At you think, my daughter's wedding and you tell come, me you I come to you and you're fucking your fucking Android ass fucking You camera. think I'm the producer in this goddamn podcast. You think you're the goddamn king of the ship. You're you're not the goddamn It may be your fucking birthday. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. What are you gonna fucking say? I really appreciate you producing and everything for this. And and, and you know what? Any other day, I would agree. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is your podcast, but you know what? I'm gonna say it. You're nothing without me on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. Okay, there it is. It's not like I could have just set this up and then interviewed people on my own and had great chemistry with somebody else. You'd be nothing. <laughs> You'd be nothing no, without right. me. <laughs> you are right because if you weren't here, I would just be sitting in my car screaming into a Zoom recorder. You could have like, like the you know. Why am I homeless? <laughs> you could have like the old English and cars with comedians. Or I actually thought about a show like, like that, like that. <laughs> because you could. I have the clips, the GoPro clips that the GoPros actually worked. Put three clips in the in the, like in my car. <laughs> yeah. It's just be laying there, be like, you know how much I hate life. Well, hmm. <laughs> and it just like cuts between like different <laughs> GoPros. Yeah. You have a guest on, and they're just like sponsored in the by GoPro. And it's just me. How much and I'm like, oh, I'm fucking homeless, <laughs> Dad. How's it gonna be not living in your car anymore? Um. Well, the show's gonna get better. The show's gonna get a lot better. Because I don't have to worry about shelter. Are you are you getting out of the car game? Yeah, I'm moving into a crib. Fuck yeah. Yeah. The seventh in like four days. One person gets a house and the other one ends up living out of their car. <laughs> are you, what? I'm just kidding. There has to be... There's truth to everything. Why'd you say that? <laughs> Dude, I just know the truth. Do you, just do you think are you getting kicked out? No, I'm not getting... I'm, I'm kicked out on your birthday. Dude, that would be so funny. Dude, no, it wouldn't. Well... To me, I guess. I mean, that's kind of how it goes for, like, you and me. With, Not like, to you. When we had cars, it was like one person would have a car and the other person wouldn't have a car. As soon as the other person got a car, <laughs> the other Dude, person's that's car, like, how, exploded Honestly, that's kind of how life is, mm-hmm. I feel like. Dude, every time. You need to stop having a car so that I can have a car. <laughs> Wait, do you not have a car? Oh, dude, my license got suspended. Give us an update. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's different, though. That doesn't really count. Okay, but my license is unsuspended now. Dude, my license was suspended when we drove to California. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, but the thing is, my car wasn't legal. Shout out driving illegally. Um, paying an SR22. Still can't get the car under Fuck my that name. Shit. Yeah, dude. It, mm-hmm. but I don't have the... With uh, the most recent DMV. Sorry, I blew that. Yeah, yeah, face. no, you're good. I, um, <coughs> so I'm paying an SR22 right now. Without my that car sound, That sounds like um, antidepressant. Honestly, it makes SR22. me more depressed. <laughs> so that's crazy. So that's is that a title thing? It's it's basically like 
I'm, I, you can you know an SR. So it, when you get an SR twenty two, when you do some shit, and they're like, you fucked up. So like, so like breathalyzers you, and shit. If you get like, no, it's not like a breathalyzer. It's basically like you get a DUI or something. Or like I was, I was driving without insurance and had expired tags and some other shit. And I had taken like. <laughs> I took the sticker off some other burnt up tin Percocets. And yeah, I took like a sticker off a burnt up car and put it, you know, like the little oh uh, some sticker. mob shit. Yeah, and just stuck it on my car. And then the dude pulled me over and it was a bunch of shit. And so after that, I got an SR twenty two. So basically, it's like you get a DUI. It's like a mark, or some something. shit like that. And yes, yeah, so you have to have an SR twenty two for like a certain amount of time. And I like I had mine for like five years, I think. And you basic it basically goes like when you have insurance you've got that mark on your record and right. so you have to have sr22 like your insurance but with an sr22 on it so if it, it like fucks up your insurance a little yeah, bit i had to pay like at one point like four hundred dollars a month <gasps> to have insurance oh. right now i'm paying wait wait wait, wait. four hundred dollars on top of your insurance no just total it was like four right. four something and, a month. and i'm already and i'm getting railed up the ass by insurance just because i've only been driving for like a handful of years like almost 200 bucks like Still, I'm paying 200 right now without my car even being insured. Right. Dude, my car's not okay, insured. Wait, I'm still paying 200 because you wait, have, why are you because you oh, have because, to have okay. you have to have the insurance to get the fucking shit right. I have to pay I have to pay for an SR22 for my license to even be valid. And you have to have the insurance yeah. for that. To yeah, happen. because if, if you don't have the SR22, Scam. they'll suspend your license. Ain't ain't it some shit? Ain't it, man? Mm-hmm. Now the malt liquor is kicking in. And I'm thinking about taxes, and I'm thinking about the DMV, <laughs> and I'm thinking about Molotov cocktails, mm-hmm. and ain't that some shit? It, didn't I say this on like the first or second episode? Like insurance is like doesn't even it's not even real. It's all not that even episode like, one, like you pay for insurance all the time. Then as soon as some shit happens, it doesn't. Like w- we're gonna do everything we fucking can to make sure you don't get any fucking coverage. I feel like that's the same thing with like fucking health insurance too. <laughs> yeah, it's not Man. like oh cool, we've got a relationship. Like I'm giving you money when some shit happens, you fucking hook me up. Right, it's kind of like, like no, a loan, but it doesn't. You pay ha- me because you're you have to by law, and then when some shit does happen, I'm gonna make sure it's a real pain in the ass. Like you yeah. might not get shit, <laughs> oh, or if God. you do, it's like and then as people wonder I can give you, and then people wonder why Ruby Ridge happens and Waco, Texas happens. <laughs> Is hey, shit like this, huh? Speaking of health insurance, I was just insurance, watching a fucking documentary on Waco. You, you want to see something nasty? You want to see a rash update? I, 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 I do want a rash update, even though there is no camera to see. I want to <laughs> personally right. we, see we, we rash update it. because this has been. Ooh, it definitely looks better. It does. You think so? I that's, think so. That's better. Yeah, <laughs> it's more. Cons- it's more like uh, condensed. Condensed. And it's more in one section. That's good. Maybe it's for- just like I forgot it. what you said. What? What? And you're scratching yourself. Stop. Sit stop down, itching, tweaker. Dude. Sit down, tweaker. <laughs> what the fucking? What? Where'd you get it from? I don't know. You told me it was a prostitute. <laughs> I said no. I said no. I did not. <laughs> You're also we're also drunk, so that was probably. <laughs> dude, did um, I actually say that? <laughs> I, yeah, you're like. I think I filmed it. <laughs> and then you said it the other time at the fucking flow show. <laughs> yeah, can we see the clip? Hey. <laughs> hey, yo, J-Mo. Hey, uh, can you pull up the clip? I have to tuck my shirt in, though, so I don't have to feel it. Jeez, so you are, you, feel? are you, like, doing anything about that? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I put cortisone cream on it. You should, you should do that all the time. <laughs> my fucking... I had this... Um, one of my old bosses, in, I'm not gonna say which state because I don't. I'm gonna talk shit. I he w- he did coke. He was like, you know, he painted. We painted houses. Okay. It was cool. It was fine. I got paid, made a decent amount of money. But he did coke and it I was all cocaine and painting houses. With it me. was all over the place. He also did like real estate shit. So like, okay, so sense. he's a busy guy. So busy guy. Got, okay. Um, he had like a he had fucking hella eczema. Like crazy eczema, oh, yeah. and I had to like move his house for him, and I I had to move his like tanning bed. He had a tanning bed for his eczema. Yeah, <laughs> maybe <laughs> I do, should. They do, do that. that. I should do that for this. Does that does having that help? Eczema? It do, I pretty sh- there's there's something about it. I'm pretty sure it does. Just like that. And so it, like exposure exposure or something? it like helps them. It makes it gives them some sort of relief. Like so, does that mean like it was just sun, weird moving his like shit? More sun or something can help with eczema. Well. 
the sun gives you or is that radiation different? or gives you uh yeah radiation and that's like a little bit of radiation is good for you well, yeah it's like they use radiation there's something for about different. like fucking like tanning doesn't that use like radiation UV, I don't know. I don't God know. God damn, I wish we were smart. I don't know light Fuck. science. <laughs> Hold up, let's get Bella in here. Bella will be able to explain it. I love dead air. <sighs> Jacob. I yeah. want a soundboard, God damn it. I feel like there's just, a lot. I feel like this episode, I wanted us to kind of reminisce over a lot of old stories. Do we have, we haven't idiots. talked about anything in game. We're oh, an yeah, hour yeah, in. That's right, it's all right, yeah, here. Start all right. Get us some end game questions. All right, let's, fuck. let's do this. Oh, goddamn. All right. First off, I quit. <laughs> you can't quit. <laughs> we already had a phone call. You said, I'm never quitting. What, what year did it officially start? Fuck. EST. Um, in game clothing. Oh, man. I don't, uh, I don't know. Two th- here, I can, I can figure it out real quick. Um, it was like five or six years ago at this point. Um, 2015? 14? I think 2014 is like when we graduated high school, I think. Or when I did. Is it? Or was it? I don't fucking know, dude. I, I graduated 2016. You, like 2012. you did? 16. You? I'm 25. 2016. Yeah, I'm 28 now. So 2012, 2013, maybe. I don't 2018. We started in 2018. Okay, okay. That sounds better. Interesting. I, um, I've... Our, our first drop was 2018. Word. I officially started Fuck Cloud as it is in 2019, and I started it in 2017. So yeah. pretty much around the same. Yeah, because yeah. we were going for like a little bit before. Right. Just I did getting shit. I going. did the same thing with Fuck Cloud. I started in 2017, and shit didn't get pop off to like 19. So it was like two years of just like making zines and just like crying. Yeah, I think uh, initially Endgame started like we didn't have a drop for a really long time. Him and I would just get like fucked up at this apartment he lived at and we just like back and forth ideas. Ooh, actually, dude. Hold on. I can look at my phone. I can see if I have I can look in my Snapchat fucking history and I might be able to find a picture from that night. When we had the first conversation, dude. All right, yeah. like I'll remember, we were in the parking lot of that like elementary school. The dandelion. I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, tell this story while you're looking for it. Um, so, I, Jake, I wanted to. I've always wanted to make clothes. Like, I, my parents yeah. ran, or like my dad ran a clothing company when I was a kid. Was really successful oh, in like, skateboarding shit. What is it called? Oh, it's called Heathen Apparel. They got offered to get put in like Zoomies and a couple other shops right at the end. He should have did it. Yeah. But <laughs> be over here, I'm like sell out. Should have did it. <laughs> sell Fuck out. it. No, nah, it was like as they were going down. But like, no, it was it was a really big company. That's and, what I'm saying. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If they were if they were like, fuck it, if we're gonna go out, might as well make a little bit of change at the end. Yeah. But that's neither there or here. But continue. So I was always raised in the culture, and I like it was something I'd always wanted to do. And um, Jacob always wanted like Jacob was like tattooing. He really wanted to get into tattooing, and so I kind of sat there and I was like, you know, I want to make clothes. You want to do tattooing? You want to get your art out there? Like, let's let's sit and talk. And we kind of just went back and forth on just kind of like ideas, and it was kind of established like Endgame's Endgame was like my my child. Like End, right. Endgame is mine. Um, and I was like, so this is this is my baby. Like, you're gonna be part of this with me. And we sat and brainstormed a couple ideas. Um, I sat there. He I gave him a general idea. He threw stuff back at me. I threw stuff back at him, and we uh, we came with a couple designs um, one night, and they were pretty like simplistic. Some of the coolest designs I think were still to this day. Our old shit was actually fucking sick. Yeah, some of that orig- original stuff is pretty fucking. Dope. Yeah, but uh, so we came up with I think like three designs in that w- that one night when we finally established like kind of what we were, and then him and I we were getting fucked up the whole time, like just drinking, and then uh, we. He lived right next to an elementary school, and him and I were walking around, like, chugging beer, just, like, talking about how excited we were to do this, and we're, like, throwing beer bottles at the fucking elementary school windows (laughs) and stuff. Redacted. (laughs) (laughs) And then I remember we go, we're walking out, and there's in the parking lot, we're about to walk back to the apartment, and... Uh, or no, we're walking to my car. I don't think we're gonna go back to the apartment. I think we're about to go somewhere else. We're sitting like drinking in your car in the fucking parking lot, and then like I don't know, I don't remember exactly what, but it was like this fucking dandelion, <laughs> and you were like pointing at it, and we were talking about it. I remember taking pictures of this fucking dandelion, <laughs> yeah, like, that's just fucking hammered, oh and it was my like God. looking at it like one of those like 
ideas where you're just like, this is going to change the world. And we're like, this is going to be the sickest design anyone's ever fucking seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, he's like, should we write it down? I was like, nah, I'm just going to take a picture of the fucking dandelion and we'll, we got it. We got it. And then I take a picture of the dandelion and no memory whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> design is, Dude, of course. I just remember we're both like, the dandelion. <laughs> we're going off. Honestly, though. I think we should do the dandelion design now that we're talking about I, it. I, I could do some. Now that uh, might I as think, well. I think we should make it simplistic, um, where we just have like it like pulled out of the ground and like you know like the dude, roots you can't you can't then, spoil it. You're gonna ruin the drop, dude. Bro, everyone steals my shit anyway. I'm gonna invade. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so I don't got the original dandelion picture, but I do have this photo from June 2017. Is the earliest end game sketch I've got. Oh shit. Can you send that to me? Yeah, for sure. Because I can I wanna put that in the thumbnail. Yo send that what? to me. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, neither do I. Send that to me. Why have we not done that? Send it to me right dumb. now. Um We're do- that's, that's, that's crazy. That's that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's cool. I don't know why we never did that. I think we've talked about doing designs super similar to that recently too. <laughs> that's what I yeah, we Dude, have that's that's the there's that's the one thing that's with like fucking... s- just like that. It's like Portland yeah. specific, but yeah, yeah. Dude, that was... I do not remember that at all. That's the collective conscious shit. Like things come back around. Yeah. Things comes back in loops. I so think it's like... I think we need to do that that design. I think we need to do the stupid ass dandelion because now I have a general idea how it'd be sick. Um, what if we use that for the in noise merch? That one. Mm-hmm. No, well, I, I have I have some ideas for the noise. I got a, I got some good ideas too to go back and. I think we can honestly, we should do the in noise merch like uh like old band tees and do like four different designs and just have like four different designs for people to choose from, black, white, maybe some red, maybe some yellow, yeah, shit like that. Well, that's what I'm saying. We just have it on like, we just have it order. I could do like made to like I'll keep all four screens up right. on there and just made for to- sure. That would that'd be easy. Boom, boom. Easy. Yeah, I want it to be very streamlined. I want to get some stickers made too. Yeah, bro. I want to put fucking stickers. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, stickers are the fucking. That's way the way shit, bro. Dude, I've missed having Those, end game stickers. Uh, what website do you use? Do you remember? I used to. I use a Sticker Ninja because it's local. You. Oh, uh, in Portland. Yeah, it's out oh, of Portland. Word. How much? Do you know how much it is? Per it's sticker? expensive. It's pretty expensive. Uh. Machine Studio out of Las Vegas. Shout out. This is just a free plug because I love Machine Studio. It's a graffiti shop in Las Vegas. They fucking rule, dude. It's super cheap. The stickers, these these ones. Like the, oh, vi- yeah, yeah, the vinyl's yeah. so nice. Not not those ones. Those ones are from fucking uh sticker app. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, the the vinyls. Eh. I Machine Studio is very nice, so I think we should go through them. I but we can check say, out Sticker Ninja. Too. I I will say Sticker Ninja. The cool thing is, is you can't you get it. You can get cut, so you can like. Right. And uh, they do that. I think they do that too. Oh, they do do vinyl yeah, cut. They That's do all dope. of it. Yeah. Because you can do vinyl cut, and honestly, some of the best stickers I've used, like personally, not even just saying that. To right. Me, Jerk my own dick like oh, best stickers. They're just fucking the good quality. Yeah. We should just compare the prices for sure. Yeah, no, I mean I'm down to go through these guys, especially if we're just we should just like order a fuck ton of them and yeah, slap them. Um, bring it back to in game. Do you do you uh do you guys like enjoy doing in game? Like do you fuck like <laughs> more like do you enjoy do you enjoy doing pop ups? Or yeah, would you I mean, prefer like, okay, not so to do pop ups? Would you rather sell online, or do you think like? Well, pop ups can be like they can go, dude. Dude, chomp it, bro. Pop ups can go either can way. Hit the... Where like sometimes they're the shit, and like it's a super right. good time. Then sometimes you have them, and it's like kind of a bust, and it's there ain't like nobody fucking shows up, and for it's sure, slow it's all that always sucks. And you're kind of like, fuck, like you bring all the shit out, and you didn't you you paid more for the boot than you fucking made, and so but it's like what you got to do, so. I would sure. say as a whole, yeah, they're good. Like sometimes, like I've definitely gotten burnt out on doing them, where I'm just like, if there's a run of them where it's like this is kind of fucking slow and it's not really working, yeah. For but sure. if you if you get like if you get good spots and it's going okay, then yeah, I, for sure it's I, worth going. Yeah. And you want to like you have motivation. Yeah, and I think that's like a really good way to get it out there, especially when you have different kind of. Events going with it when you do like skate comps and like or yeah. bands playing or something like that. If you guys could, would you rather do pop ups or like online shit? 
Um, I think online shit has a better market. So for money purposes, I would say more broad. I would say online. Can buy but it, yeah. honestly, like going out there and like doing the shit is so much better than an online. It feels better. You can make more sales. It's more personable. The person stays longer. I hate using like fans. It's not like a fan, but like the supporter. If they buy a T-shirt from you personally, they're more likely to like be with your brand and your company for the long run. Like if you know what I mean. Like if you're buying just like a random T-shirt online, you're like, yeah, I'm just giving them some money. Like, yeah, it's it, like, it oh, feels, that's a cool design. It, it's cool. But if you meet the like, artist and you're like, you get to talk. About it's connection. Like, it's yeah. It's the same shit where like somebody tells me about a band. Like I'm I'm re- like I really in my hardcore shit right now so i'm listening to all these hardcore bands and if someone's like listen to this band i'm like in my head i'm like i know because it's gonna sound like every other hardcore like i can't put a face to it but if someone has a live recording of them at like a venue and i can go watch the live recording it clicks in my brain Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's kind it's kind of the same thing with like the clothes if you're in person and you get that first impression and the person knows you, they're more likely to spend more money with you and stay with you longer. A hundred percent. Like if I hear a band and like they could be, they could fucking shred. They read like and you're super like, super ah, good. And like, like, well, they could be super good. And I hear them and I'm like this, they fucking rock. Like I like them a lot. But if I go to a show and I hear like a band and they could be, they could be not even as good as that band, but I hear it's them more play of an live impact. and then I meet like the dudes afterwards and right. talk with them and shit. They're going to stick with me fucking for sure. Forever. I'm always going to remember for that. sure. <laughs> well, Clothing, clothing, honestly, is so similar to music in so many different ways. Like pop ups is like the equivalent of us booking a show. For sure, how I look at it, I'm like, okay, because you have to perform. Because you're performing to make some money. That's what the fucking artists are doing. They're performing to make some sort of. It's it's very very similar. Plus, it's like you look at like the tiers too. Like there's. You know, there's like the vets. There's the dudes you know that are going there and make fucking money. Yeah, and they're like business. They like they're, like they're the, you know, like they're the headliners. And then you know you bring maybe like, I mean, I've personally brought quite a few people along with me and been like, okay, this is like, <laughs> the equivalent of me having like an opener with me. You know? Oh, like, for sure. Yeah. Like, even with like stand up, yeah, you know, like you bring along an opener, and like you know, it's up to the person to be like, yeah. And honestly, I've brought people along that outsold me. Like, right, I'm like, oh shit, and like, that's a hit to the ego. And but you look at it, you're like, well, that's how it is. That's just life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you need that though. That's friendly competition. And oh, another no. huge thing about doing the pop ups, like one of my favorite things, is like being there and like like how we fucking met you and like a bunch of other people. Right. Like that's where you meet all the other people for who are sure. doing the same shit as you. That's how you get yeah, like labs, different shit like that. See how other people for are sure. Doing See it. how the people move and how people operate, and it's like, you know. Speaking of collabs, how have we never done an Endgame fuck clout collab? The world, <laughs> the world hasn't been ready. <laughs> Honestly, I right. I think this podcast is the closest thing. This basically we're is. Inching, like, we're inching close. It is. We're inching closer. That's why, fuck, honestly, fuck the fuck clout in-game collab. We need to go crazy on in noise merch. Yeah, okay. We could go crazy enough to where like that could be its own separate thing. You know what yeah, I mean? That, yeah. Not that we're trying to do that, but like it could, it could be that. I mean, this is like a separate. This is a separate business. It's we a com- merge for completely. it completely. Yeah. And the, the fact, I mean, I just added your email to the fucking gum, the gum wall. So like, we're we're approaching this. We're approaching this with a business aspect. We need to really be good at splitting the business and and friendship aspect in half. I think we're pretty good at that. I think we could be. I think we're both level-headed enough to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I just... Because shit gets weird. Shit, shit can get weird when money gets involved. I literally told... I'm not in this, I'm not in this for money, because I can make money in completely different ways. I'm not either. And I even texted you with, like, with the money that we get off of this. I was like, you can have right. it all because you're doing all the producing right now. Because like, eventually... <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to air out a bunch. There's, there's a bunch of... Set weird. Yeah, that's just, that's just business. Um, I think we have a good a good little mix going on though. Uh, I'm not too focused on either or side of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. More, I just want to have fun, man. It's more of just a conversation and just like hanging out with the homies and just like you know, it's funny. seeing what content we can. We make started a podcast after only hanging out at pop ups in a case, like once or twice, like outside of <laughs> clothing shit. Right. That's how it is, bro. Fuck it. It's the chemistry, bro. I've had like three or four people be like. You guys sound like you're having an actual conversation. Yeah. Hey, that's good. 
That's good because if it doesn't sound natural, then why the fuck would anybody want to be listening? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Be like, and you, you've got like you robots. Have that like personality where it's like as soon as I would hope so. As soon as I met you, it was like I would hope so. It's, it's like you've always kind of had that thing where it's like like I've known this dude for a while. I appreciate it. I'm just, you know I don't know I'm just fucking blunt and open and fucking oh shit I don't give a shit about shit, bro. Dang. I'm just here to fucking vibe, bro. Oh, you cracked open the twisty? All right, bro. We're at the one hour 14 mark. Do you want to keep going? Let's ask a few more endgame questions if you got anything. Yeah, bro. I, like I never get to talk about this part of like the break. I, should, I honestly should have came more prepared uh, with questions. I mean, um, do you have like a favorite design? Do you have a favorite design? Um, I don't think I have a favorite I've got it like a couple. If if I had to pick a favorite, it's probably the hang in there one. That was our first one to ever sell out. Because I've got like Damn. I've got a couple other. Add a pop up. Mm-hmm. Crazy. More like more detailed and shit that I put quite a bit of work into, and I really like those. A couple of those, but that one was extremely like it's it's simple and just kind of like popped into my head. And I, I love know, simple like, designs. Dude. Simple that band was... tees, simple just anything. <laughs> that started as a drunk tattoo on my leg. Jacob tattooed on my leg and like, we should put it on a shirt. And then that was that's actually fire. the first design we screen printed ourselves. That's super sick. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's awesome. dude. I know what I'm thinking about it. That's actually kind of like a big moment for us. First one to sell out. First one we screen printed our own. It was for my first Endgame tattoo. You got a tattoo of it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on my thigh. That's crazy. Um, so that's actually, wow, damn. I didn't even think about it. That was like a big step. Um, I tattooed that that was that night I gave you that tattoo. And is that when I did the Reptar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the Tommy Pickles and I did the Reptar. The Reptar snake. Hey, yeah. the Tommy Pickles. Yeah, damn. Um, yeah, that, ugh, fuck. I'm glad we're, bring, we're bringing that design back. That's our next drop is we're bringing fire. that back with a little bit extra. Super fire. Yeah, but um, damn. You know, fuck, dude. Thinking about it, if you... Man, this is a missed opportunity. If you didn't move to Florida... We could have had an in-game podcast through the All Noise Network, dude. That would literally just awesome. set yeah, you yeah. two up with the mic and have you do whatever the fuck, and me be the producer like off mic. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be I super mean, hard. Like, we could try and do you something know, where it's like you're actually right. Discord. Yeah. We could mm-hmm. do it through the Discord. Yeah. If I'd you guys are interested in something like that, we could do an in-game podcast. I'd be down to do that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd be because I'd be I'm down. really, I'm really trying to turn All Noise. Into like a whole multimedia conglomerate type thing, mostly with podcasting. I want to do different shows where everybody can break bread, eat off of it, but have their own show Mm -hmm, and like block it out throughout the week, you know, and have like a whole operation. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I think an in game podcast would be pretty sweet because the chemistry between you two, I think. Works pretty well. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> too far, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. What's your fucking, not to be that guy, but what's your uh, Zodiac? Uh, it is What's your, Aquarius. like, right. You're an Aquarius. Damn. Your fucking son? You're, like, main one or whatever? Yeah, I'm, like, a... Do you know the rest of your chart? I'm, like, a double Aquarius. I don't, I don't know. Everybody, I don't know a ton about it, but, like, every time uh, I've been told, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, a double Aquarius. That's interesting. The Aquariuses love groups of people. Groups of people and revolution. Okay. Aquarius rules revolution, and it's kind of funny actually because you like fucking like like fighting, like sword fighting. Yeah, you like you. Uh, what is what is that even consi- like? Mid like, what do you mean? Medieval fighting. It's like it's like armored. We need to get combat. into that honestly. <laughs> armored combat. Yeah, that's very revolution. Like you're going to battle for something. Like it's very hands on. Like, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and you strike me as a very Aquarius's. This is a little zodiac talk. We should do a little zodiac corner with Quig. But Aquarius's are very very intelligent. Next is Sagittarius. Dude, this guy's a fucking idiot. What do you mean? (laughs) Well, you can cut. That's the fool, bro. You can come off as a fucking idiot, but you probably have some idea. That's that's. Come on, you're talking shit to your business partner. There's a reason why your business. I'm obviously (laughs) kidding. I I know you are. What I'm saying is, there's also less Aquariuses than anybody else. I didn't know that. Very less. They also say that Aquariuses look like aliens, like they're (laughs) because they're so because they're so like. You know, they're so intelligent and they're, they're so like 
revolution. They're, they're all about fucking change and progress and fucking like Portland, Oregon is an Aquarius city. Like when it was established, it's considered an Aquarius city and it makes sense because there's a lot of racial shit, you know, racial uh, um, politics and identity gotcha. politics. Mm -hmm. Whether it's whatever, whether you agree with it or not, that's Aquarius energy. It's like a center for like change. And change. Mm -hmm. And I can totally see that from you. That's why I think your relationship works because Aquarius and fire signs, just to let you know, me and Vinci Poo over here were straight fire. We're straight wildfire. <laughs> He's an Aries. I'm a Sagittarius. So fire, my dick hurts when I pee. So much fire, my fucking asshole hurts when I shit. That's how much fire we have. Aries is the, the sign of the ram. You bash into that motherfucker with a machine gun. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm the sharpshooter, quote unquote sharpshooter, but it's not really a sharpshooter because I'm clumsy as shit. That's the whole deal. I also come in with the, I'm your support. I come in with a machine gun. I got. Da, 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 da. I support you running into battle first. The Aries is the first one to run into battle. The Sagittarius is a thinker. What I'm trying to say here, not to be all white girl. No, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. No, dude, we could totally, like, I love this shit. This is a good pairing. So, bringing it back to the in, in game podcast, I think that could work. Because you both have very similar personalities, but also kind of different um yeah for sure aquarius is a i think fixed air sign and this listen to this, this is some science shit air you need air for fire to work yeah holy crazy <laughs> right and that uh, that i mean i think that's pretty uh that's wicked that's that yeah yeah, yeah. That, 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 that right works a lot with if how you think element works. elemental right like air uh, i would not that you're down to earth because you are down to earth, but air air isn't down to earth. Air is, it can move. It's very fluid. Not fluid, because that water is very fluid. It goes back to forth. Mm -hmm. Water is emotion. Water rules emotion. So motion flows back and forth. Air is all about intellect and talking. So Gemini's, Aquarius, and then whatever the other air. Very talky, like smooth, like air it fills everything it's very expansive and then fire all we do is just burn the fuck up and burn like, the school down to the we ground. just we do we down burn the, the and what are we doing the gritty in a forest fire right now <laughs> fire just burns up everything so you kind of have to like put water on fire to cool it down everything or like, like evens everything out it, that's elements that's just mm -hmm. that's some life shit so everything evens itself out so what i'm trying to say is the fact that your business partners makes complete sense my business partner is an aries not my boy Goldblum, who does fuck clouds and Aries, so it's kind of a dangerous thing. Not really, because we're both level headed, but it's like fire and fire, me and you, fire and fire. <laughs> That's why it's like it's nice to have guests on to like mix the energy up. Yeah. Just a little bit of zodiac shit. For sure, it's up to stuff. you if you like. Yeah, no, that I shit. Like but it makes sense that you're Aquarius because mm. you give me that type of energy. Yeah, Whatever that Aquarium. means. Yeah, that's You're all a I fishy. can fucking call. Man, I went on a crazy <laughs> rant right fishy. there. That was wacky. <laughs> Aquarius is cool. I fuck with all my Aqu uh, Aquarius' uh, acquaintances. Dope. That's, that's super fire. Intellect. Good conversations. That's why so far this, I mean, this episode's very lit. Yeah, I, I think I we had a rough start. I really think we had a rough start. Um, that's okay, though. I would, I, I would say about, you know, like 20 minutes in from there, it was just smooth sailing. Yeah, though. whatever. Hey man, this is what you this is what you signed up for. Not everything like first four episodes very smooth, minus like oh yeah, it's nothing on you. It's I know I'm just saying yeah. two different occasions where there was like problems with this. It's nothing with my mixer. It's the fucking cords. I need new cords and microphones and headphones. I want everybody to have headphones. Even you, you <laughs> fucking cocksucker. You need a fucking headphone. Um, Fuck, I need to go pee again, but I want to ask one more question before I go. So you guys... Okay. Um, in game, in game. Do you... Do you have anything like... Do you have any interest doing any in game events? Like uh, personalized? Oh, dude, absolutely. My biggest thing events is... That's not... Through somebody else, we've we've talked about no, that. No, like, we've I've, talked about that. I've yeah. had a bunch. Of, I actually have a bunch of stuff planned this summer. Um, 
where I'm going to throw renegade like DJ sets That'd be fire. for people, and I'm going to throw up a That'd booth. That'd be super fire. I'm in the works of getting a kitchen set up for that, too. And you should talk to Zuko, because Zuko's been wanting to pivot into some food shit. Okay. Yeah, Zuko, like, and our boys in Eugene have a little, like, food, um, like, a restaurant, I'm pretty sure. They would love to be involved. That would be sick if the boys were making, like, dank-ass fucking burgers and some real good shit, like, chopped cheese type shit. Like, yeah, that so would be really cool. That's in the works, but even be before that, um, we had an event scheduled um, with produce when produce is a thing where it was RIP produce. We uh we took over the whole block and it was like basically end fest. And um I got to pick we I lit. rented out a venue right across from that venue. I had um booked Damn. artists, had everything all set up. Um and then another wave of COVID. It was like right when that double right. wave happened, right. I had to cancel it. But we had like fuck COVID. I think it was like forty vendors lined up. We had a whole Damn, that thing. was in the works like that, huh? It was actually, like, Produce was even like, dude, this is going to be huge. We, we had a collab with Produce you in know, the works during it and everything. We should do the next, whenever you set up an in-game event, we should do it where we do a live podcast. No, I, dude, I, oh my God. I wanted to do a live podcast a in three, Eugene. A th- okay, by the time we do that, we will have all the equipment. We set, look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six microphones. We set this bitch up, six microphones and six stands. Me and you sit there the whole time, and we just fluctuate people in. It's going to be chaos. Dude. But, like, it would be like, it reminds me of, like, a sporting event where, like, some shit happens, and you're, like, live like, commentary how was shit. your run, dude? And like, dude, right. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that would be the illest. I would love to do that. I'm so down. Like, if you would like to fucking do some shit like that, get in contact with us. Because if you want to host Infest, I'm definitely dude. down to help with Infest. I'm be down sick. to do an Infest. Infest would sounds be awesome. super we sick. We could definitely get, like, we have enough, like, DJ homies and, like, Well, no, we're not even DJs either. If we're, like, Infest, I'd want it to be, like, basically, like, any musician and shit like that. Right. Like, uh, like dude, we just... That would be fucking cool. I think we could do it. I think the biggest thing would be permits... And space. Right. Which is okay. That's inevitable. You know, that's coming. Like, if we want to do something that cool, we kind of have to deal with that shit anyway. I would rather help you do an event like that than me put on, like, a fuck cloud event. Because I would want to do, like, a rap lineup, but, like, I could do that anytime. That's kind of easy. I would rather do some shit like that where it's, like, a full community type of event where like you could bring a bunch of people on and me and you could just run the shit out of it yeah it'd be fucking lit that'd that be sick awesome. honestly it'd be cool to have like a multi like multiple stage thing going so like right. like have a rap i'm like, literally thinking of the old produce chinatown like how they had the basketball shit do you remember that yeah they did the, like basketball yeah, games yeah, yeah. where they like blocked up the street that like went up to the max station yeah yeah we do that same thing. There's a stage over there, stage by where old produce was, and then the whole thing is just full of vendor. Oh, bro, dude, if we def- we could probably do that at Rainbow City, bro. You think so? Yeah, I just gotta talk to Strawberry. Let's. There's it's big enough. Oh, dude, we could totally do that at Rainbow City. Let's let's figure it out. Yeah, let's, let's we, get, I can get in contact with. We that would be super fucking sick. Dude, Enfest? I, I, Enfest. That N-fest. Just sounds cool. Yeah. That's a good cool name. ass yeah, poster. Sure. We'll do some like promo shit. Hire somebody to do some actual promo shit. That'd be fire. I will say that the initial DIY till, till I die, I've talked about this. I had that idea. You guys didn't take right. it from me. I never say you would. No, no, no. I had I that do, idea. I shit. And then six months later, it happened without. Right. That's <laughs> collective conscious. Right. Yeah, and that's, like, that's the unfortunate thing. You, you know, it sucks not being the first one to. It's, it's also not an original thing idea. No, it's no, just the no. execution of it. You know, it's just like it sucks not. Honestly, because that's happened to me multiple times <laughs> that, where I'm like, "What that, the fuck? I was gonna do that." Yeah, like you're Pizza like, Pyramid. I had a skate zine in high school. Pizza Pyramid. When I did Pizza Pyramid, all these different skateboarding companies around pizza showed up, and I was like, "What the fuck? Like, the fuck? They just saw why? my. Like, sh- they sent skate- out spies and There's fucking. All, yeah, I was shit. like, did." I was like, why are we all... And it, it's just kind of like disheartening. You know, like, is it like, why the fuck? I thought I was original. <laughs> Nobody's fucking original. Oh, no, absolutely not. I'm going to go take a piss outside real quick. All right. Well, uh, here, let's just wrap it up. Let's do, let's just do ghost story. Let's get out of here. We ask every uh, guest on our show at the very end, 
about ghosts. Do, yeah. you, do you believe in ghosts? Do you have any ghost stories? Do you believe in UFOs? Do you uh, know Bigfoot personally? What's up? I don't know Bigfoot personally. But That'd I be think, cool if you uh, did. Fucking, I'm trying. Dude. I I'm met what? a girl, That'd and we sick. called her Bigfoot. Called her Bigfoot. Size 11 men's. <laughs> she what? was hot, That's what I wear. feet were giant. <laughs> I won't lie, I licked her toe once or twice. Yeah, I licked right, her toe. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, 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 I for sure believe in uh, all that shit. Uh, yeah, I think aliens for sure. Uh Bigfoot. I'm sure there's got to be something uh, that. Do you have any like ghost stories? Do you ever, ever encountered anything um, freaky? The first time I saw something that was like ghosty that I can remember was was very young. I was probably like, fuck, I don't know, like six or seven or something. I remember being in my bedroom and like getting dressed, and I remember like I turned around grab something and then I turned back around and there was like just a set of like clothing just kind of like chilling right there hovering it was kind of translucent looking wait wait you had clothes hovering it wasn't like I didn't clothing s- hovering I didn't see like clothing <laughs> hovering it looked like it looked, I, I essentially remember it is like a set of clothes like if a ghost was wearing clothes, you know, and you couldn't see the person, like a vampire in a mirror, right? And then you just see the clothes there. You don't see the vampire. Yeah, like okay. a person, but with clothes. Yeah, just so like I see ba- clothes. Yeah, basically that. But it was like what the fuck. It was like kind of translucent looking. And I remember seeing it, freaking the fuck out, being like, "What the fuck?" and running out of my room. And then like I came back and nothing. Were was the clothes there. just chilling on the floor? No. So like they weren't actually like clothes floating. It was like it was like clothes that a ghost was wearing but they were also translucent it was like, oh you see okay. what I said? yeah it wasn't your clothes no it was, it was just my, like a floating not, pair of clothes yeah just like a set of clothes interesting okay yeah and then other times since then like i've had some weird shit we've lived like house of slime fucking we had some weird <laughs> shit there like the house dude we didn't talk enough about the house of slime this podcast no nah, there's a whole there's hella shit we could fucking that's a whole podcast yeah. in its yeah. own, just talking about that place but like there we had some weird shit where like we'd be all downstairs and you'd hear someone like sprinting down the hallway or something oh. and there was always the like oh maybe somebody like was fucking with you. Or I like, did break into that house a lot and fuck with them. Yeah, so there, was, there was shit like that. But then there was there was definitely times. There's times where like we would there would be like a room in the house and would reek like rotten meat. And oh it would be like, no! What the fuck? And we'd look all over in the room like for something that was left in there. What the fuck? And then wouldn't find anything. And then like it would leave, and then a different room would smell like that, and just weird shit like that. And I've had that. That's freaky. Some different things like that at different houses. And there's been a couple times where. Um, a friend of mine actually wants to start a podcast, like a whole ghost hunting podcast. Hell I actually yeah. fucking love the idea. I I won't mention the idea because he's fucking waiting to do that. Right. Was it the one I'm supposed to be on too? Yeah, and yeah. That I bought all the equipment for and we never did anything with? You bought, you, you bought a fucking... Did, how much did you, didn't you? I just bought a spirit box and EMF reader. Okay, yeah, yeah. One well, day, we were one go, we, we were gonna do, do a ghost hunting thing too for the Patreon, like a. Make a couple of random videos of like doing the Shanghai tunnels or like doing dope. something like that. Nothing like super crazy. Yeah, if you end up don't moving to Florida, if you somehow you if, don't if end, you up end up in up Florida, up. Uh, you should do it with us when we do the ghost hunting shit. Yeah, for sure. Or if I like come back, or I'll come back and visit and fucking if I even if I do and we'll do some shit. But like when he was talking about doing that, there was a couple nights where I went to, I just took like my phone, just went and I camped out at a graveyard all night, just to kind of. Sit there all night and like chill, sit, casual, casual if, shit. Yeah, see if I fucking saw anything. Right. And there was, I only did it twice, but it was, I don't know, like it felt like there was like a presence. I didn't see any like, you know, some uh, like a specter or fucking. Everything's energy and vibrations. Yeah, yeah you mm-hmm. felt something. But there's, yeah, there's definitely like something there. And then, uh, I don't know, like also, I went to uh, Auschwitz one time and. Damn. When there's a, the that's another thing we didn't even talk about. What you were in Ukraine for fuck? a minute. Oh well, just, my god! I was just in. I never went. I never got to fucking go into Ukraine. We could record a second little thing if you want. I don't know if you are up to it, but do some. I kind of want to go get drunk with the. You guys want to go get drunk after this? Finish your story. Uh, but yeah, so you part of the tour is you go through like you you see all over the place, and then uh, part of it you go through like one of the the la- the only remaining like gas chambers for sure. And when they have you, they have you walk through, and they're like, everybody just 
you know, silent when you walk Damn, through. Damn, you went to fucking Auschwitz, dude. That's fucking crazy. I can't even get past that. Dude, it's it's fucking That's intense. That's wacky, so, like, The whole bro. place is fucking crazy. Oh, I bet it so feels much. horrible. So when you walk through that, like, the gas chamber and you're in there, there's a fucking weight. Like, okay, so, like, when I was in the graveyard at night, it's just, like, you feel like something's there kind of thing. But, and it's that Damn. same feeling, you know, same, like, a similar feeling when it's, like, you're in a house by yourself or something. You feel like you're like, I thought I hear, heard a Someone weird noise. Watching or Something's something. there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So at when we were in the gas chamber, it was like, like f- fucking heavy. Just like the whole Damn. time you walked through was just like a weight on your shoulders. And like, it felt like the air was like thick with like something. Fuck. Yeah. So That's I, I definitely think there's like something that remains for sure you don't know what it is but there's something there enough for you to feel a type of way at fucking auschwitz i mean yeah it's a pretty atrocious goddamn place for sure yeah. regardless but like that that's heavy that's super gnarly damn bro you never seen a ufo mm. maybe maybe i've seen like some little some shit you're some like little what like the fuck? light thing kind of things yeah. but i don't know if it's anything enough to where I'm like that was a fucking Word. That's a fucking UFO. But yeah. I definitely like I I don't doubt whatsoever that yeah. it's some shit. You know what's weird? Aliens are like confirmed to exist now. Ghosts still aren't technically confirmed. Right. But there's a lot more ghost stories than there is alien stories. Yeah. Yeah, and if you look up ghosts on YouTube, it's like I feel like a lot of those are fake. Oh yeah. For sure. So it's like, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. like, and I feel, well, I, I don't know. Also, this might just be not make any sense, but like, if you look back, like, I feel like there's a bunch of ghost stories that like go back, like throughout history and like different groups of people and stuff like right. recording things like that. And then if there was UFO shit, si- like sightings and stuff way back then, that could totally be like some sort of like. Like a god sighting or something like that. That's what I'm about to say. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, our god. That, yeah, our something god like is here. that. It's not like so oh, where a freaky little green yeah, dude. It's there like, could have been like something like, like that where oh, it was a sighting. Jesus, he's back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's in a little flying saucer thing, but he's back. Yeah. Totally. For sure. Because same with like a, the astro. That's why there's like a part of me that's like astrology is real. Because back in the day, they just st- stare at the sky. Mm-hmm. That's all they knew. Yeah. They knew that the sky and like whatever happens up there is affecting their like crops mm-hmm. and like how the little things they're doing here. So it's like, of course, they're going to like pray to the sky gods, but then like see like little UFO. They're like, oh, it's just God. Yeah. They, whatever. Like, they were able Chill. to like. I am God. I'm friends with God. Mm-hmm. So that's crazy. Right on. Cool. Wow. You want to end it? Yeah, I got to pee so bad. Yeah, I got to pee too. Same, All right, yeah. man. Well, thank you for listening. Here, I'll do. I'll do the wrap. All right, you can do the. Do you here. want me to go? Down? Hey, yeah, you yeah. can follow me at Quagmain on Instagram. You can also follow me at fuckcloud f u q dot clout and also at mute underscore noise. You can suck my dick. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Um, actually, before I get to that, uh, Jacob, you got anything to plug? Uh, I don't know. I'll, the only thing I got is at no frogs no dogs uh, on Instagram. That's that's about it. Yeah. What about the Instagram we run together? What about their business? Oh yeah, yeah. I guess if you ain't got other shit to do, you can check out Endgame. All right. Oh, and uh, if you want to see some cool night fighting shit, I guess uh, Portland's got a local team. It's called uh, Server Emesis. Check that shit out. Did another thing we did just barely skip. There was so much in this episode we did not talk about that I was like expecting to. We do another one. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, obviously you're gonna be reoccurring on here. Well, I mean, we might be in the talks of doing our own podcast together. Like Quig just produces. Maybe. Yeah. I'll put you in touch with my agent and shit. I am your agent. <laughs> All right. This was episode five of End Noise Podcast. I'm Vince, the co-host. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, follow the Discord. I don't care. Whatever Quig usually says, I'm just here to promote it now. Skeet, skeet, bang, bang. What's up? Goodbye. (laughs) Skeet, skeet, bang, bang. Suck my dick!